Volvo got backed into. Uh, looks like maybe trailer hitch. What's unique about Volvo XC90s is the beam right there. It's one of the hardest beams that I've ever worked on next to a 3 Series uh, BMW two-door beam. This one runs diagonal from the bottom of the door all the way to the top. Whenever one of those gets hit, uh, it creates some real challenges. Definitely see some stretched metal, but the customer overall is accepting a wave right in this location here, but the rest should turn out good. This is an ugly one, man. There's your beam sticking out. That is <laughs> really hit hard. But the reason why I took this one on is because, you know, I can fix, um, I can fix this, I can fix the line, I can fix all the way through here. This guy here is the one that's going to be stretched. But since it's below the trim, it's much lower. The cost of painting this whole red car was significant. So, this is, uh, makes sense to the customer for what I bid on and that's why I'm doing it. There's the access. I got lucky with this opening here. That's what you do when you working is uh, you don't know exactly what kind of openings you have to work with but uh, there's my dent right here you can just you can see it protruding through that thing is deep but at least I can get my hands in there as opposed to that area okay strategy um, in order to So you're just kind of balancing it out. You have some pushing at the same time of slapping over the top. So it's not going to pop it through because you're just going to do it gently and you're going to heat it. But how do you do that with two hands? You know, how do you get the constant pressure here and you're slapping here? Well, the dent dial could get in there and do that, but that's going to take a lot of power to really hold on to it. And dent dial is powerful, but I don't know. So this is what I found. And this is what I, you know, always tell you in training is look for opportunity. Here's that's what you get a lot of the times is you get opportunity and you have to look for it. So this is a perfect scenario. I can now push and you'd be surprised the kind of power you can generate and stability you can generate when you're pushing, you're leaning your body up against it and you have it in the right spot. Now on top of that, you actually can position it. So this is beautiful what's happening here. I decided not to go with anything round because I'm working some horizontal lines. That's really important that you, if you're going to push, always push with the, the dents in the direction they're in. So I'm using the uh, angle hold, angle wood hold, is you're closing the door on pressure. You're holding it with your body right on it because it's positioned up against here. You want to make sure that your hood prop has rubber or something to hold on to it dents that are really strong. These are really strong. You want to leave them alone for right now until you balance it out. This thing is sitting out pretty high. Look at this. It's pretty extreme. But now I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to start working on bringing this out. And while that's coming out, I got to knock this down. Okay, uh, this is the 5 16 22 dent dial. A lot more powerful than the quarter inch. So this one here is what I'm using these days because on some of these bigger dents the quarter inch just doesn't hold up that well. Um, and I'll be offering this here pretty soon. It probably already is depending on when I release this video. But this is my setup. My dent is inside here just below the brace. This thing here is now able to get right on that line and power it out. So that's how I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm hitting the frame right here. I gotta really put a good bend in this so I can go inside and when I push on it, it doesn't hit the frame. That's why it's bendable. Okay, 
got the right bend in it pretty strong almost a 90 this is the 5 16 remember all right take advantage of some height right now and knock down the crown around the brace just trying to establish some strength so it stays out here okay so couldn't really get that crown down because you really have to put wedges inside here to really knock that down and make sure you don't hit the brace so what's ideal about doing a dent like this is you have so much you can hide inside this this bracing here I mean inside this inset because that's where the um, molding goes and you know that's why every job is so different you know when you have and you can camouflage work inside here with bracing I mean with trim work and molding <laughs> that helps a lot okay so now what's next look how far this thing is sitting out um, it looks scary of course this is sitting way out too far and this has to come out, this has to go in, and that'll kind of balance that out. So that's my next step, is push out here while I hit here. You're just trying to get the whole thing kind of shaped. Down, I have it wedged out. I'm going to read that line the way it, it, it... That's why I use a pole. You can use a board, you can use whatever you wish. But that's what I'm going to go after, is the way it swells out like that. It's very accurate for me. Okay. This is the focus now. Really strong pressure here. That needs to come out, balance, and then right here, look at that. Look how deep that is. That's supposed to look like that. I like how it's kind of shaping up now. Start laying this thing down. Okay, all finished. Let's take a look how it turned out, the big job. Just had to replace that trim. And let's take a look. Very tough job. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's the best I got it. I mean the big the big hit obviously was was right here, and you could just you could definitely see where the where it's just poofed out a little bit. So there you go. There's the big dent. You know, just replacing the trim, fixing the dent, really saved uh, the customer a lot of money doing a dent like this. Definitely an advanced dent. This type of work, uh, I can show you how to do this. I'm actually going to start offering training uh, for people individually. Uh, I get a lot of requests for that. 